Hello and welcome to the video guys. So we're going to be looking at the Type 64 um, in this replay. This is on Overlord and yeah man, Overlord, not one of my most favorite maps. We got this um, map twice um, playing the Type 64 and um, both times we got it on the stream, they were awful games. We ended up losing the 7890 line um, and it was just really, really bad. Um, whenever you lose, and I explained this on the stream, so Again, I always leave the link in the description for my Twitch channel. You're more than welcome to check it out. But whenever you lose the 7890 line on this map, it's very, very difficult to adjust to, even in a light tank. And what I tell people is this whole spot on the map is very, very important. 7890 line. I like to draw on the map, but XVM um, requires an update right now, so it's not working um, on the replays. But I'm telling you guys, the higher ground here, I would say even 890, it's extremely important to take this spot on the map, because what ends up happening is it becomes just like D-Day, Omaha Beach, Normandy Beach, World War II, where Everyone um, from the beach has a disadvantage because you're low ground, right? And coming up from this area or this area, it's very difficult to do. Um, and it takes a very long time in like heavy tanks to also come up this direction. Now, if you're able to take the beach very quickly, you might have a chance. Um, it's something to keep in mind. Like if you send everyone to the beach and we all, you know, do this and we have the shots going at maybe some people in the mid, uh, yeah, maybe it might work. But I'm telling you every single time or almost every single time I have lost 890 on this map we end up losing the game because you have the high ground and when you're able to take this area from either side you have the reverse shots going towards the like 345 area and you also have a good look on the base and stuff like that this is a really good vantage point to have for us if we were able to take it in a0 or so because we have all the shots going this way then you can run down even the a line and you just you're able to clean up people very easily here and then you also have these corners so you're able to poke up in these areas and you're able to wreck people right it's just the case it's the way this map works i'm telling you you need to win 890 and in those two battles that i had on the stream we ended up losing the uh this area both times and um it just didn't work out right i had bad games i tried to make adjustments and run onto the beach and stuff but it just wasn't working so i'm going to show you this game it ended up being a first class in the type 64 it was the first paddle that i played after the stream and um we started out really well in this vehicle and then it kind of ended poorly and then as soon as i ended the stream i had this great game um in the vehicle for some reason that seems to be the way it's working for me i don't understand why but um you know, whenever I'm playing really, really um, bad on the stream, towards even towards the end, whatever, it doesn't matter, I seem to have my good games after the stream is over. I, I don't know why that is, but it's just the case, like, all the time, man. Um, could be that I'm slightly distracted from the chat, but I don't think so. I really just think this is, like, just a luck thing and an RNG thing and a matchmaking thing and whatever the heck you want to call it. So I continue to poke up here and get shots. This is really, in my opinion, the best play for, you know, making Overlord work is just to continue to poke up as a light tank because you'll likely outspot most people that are poking up. And that's all we're doing here. We're just kind of trying to, you know, deal damage to anyone that's going to be in front of us. Like there's nothing else you can do on this map, in my opinion, until things actually start happening, right? Like you really need to wait to see what's gonna happen on the beach or on like three, four, five lines and stuff like that. Um, and right now it seems like we're kind of winning this game. People keep poking up and I'm getting a lot of good shots in. M41 decides to YOLO here. I'm going to get two into him. Make sure that no one else is um, going to take shots at me. And then once the Skoda cleans up this guy, I notice that someone else is going to come over, if I recall correctly. It's the Skoda T25. And now I'm going to go and help the Skoda T25. Because at this point, um, if we can eliminate this guy from the game and I can save the Skoda, which I'm able to do here, then we have an advantage now in this area. So what I'm actually going to do is, I know I'm still lit, but I'm going to make a very aggressive pass here, pass the dead tank, and relight these guys, because I want them to remain lit so that like AMD and other people can see where they are. And it kind of keeps them 
pushed back, right? So now Artie's able to clean up the Type 58 because he stayed lit. Um, and we'll just smack a shot in the T-34 here. Luckily, that hits on the move. And um, I always like to be firing, guys. So I'm just going to try and, like, if I'm making an active play to go after someone else, I'll turn my turret and try and take a shot at someone else. I mean, you might as well, right, on the move, just take those shots. There's no reason not to um, because you never know they could go in. So now I'm going to YOLO down the 9-0 line. And here, this is where you can see, like, how the 90890 whatever starts working like i have these shots on the t30 t3485 i'm able to come around this guy i think excalibur gets a shot into me here i'm able to clean that guy up excalibur hits me and i'm rushing now down like the b line here and look at this man excalibur is now lit and we are going to crush this team um, in a matter of the next minute or two just because I now have the advantage in this situation. We have back shots at the AT-8. Other people do as well. I'm gonna, you know, hit this guy, I think, three times. I think I'm the one that cleans him up. Oh, we bounce there, and someone else gets the kill. But now I can move into the Excalibur. I can watch the AMD as well. I'm watching the Tiger. Tiger is eliminated. And here you go. Look how quickly this game has progressed because we won the 890. And I can't emphasize this enough, guys, on Overlord. You have to win 890. Trust me. It's just the way it works. You're going to want to win this portion of the map, and that's it, guys. Um, Excalibur's not able to get another shot into me here. I'm going to turn and hit this guy while the Hellcat goes after the AMD. Um, I believe this guy gets one more shot into me, but it's not really changing anything. And we're going to take one more shot at him, clean him up, and then we're going to go after the AMD. Um, I only have APCRs left. I'm going to poke up here, try and get a shot into the FV. I think I rush it and miss, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I do. Um, but we get the spotting damage on it, and now... Um, AMD is just going to be chased. I'm waiting so I can jump off the cliff at the last moment here. And here we go, guys. Um, he's cleaned up, and we're going to jump off the cliff. And I'm going to save this as my thumbnail. Let's go like that or something. Yeah, that's pretty funny, right? Let's just do that. Why not? Save that as our thumbnail. <laughs> And here we go, guys. Here's my nice uh, bounce here at the end. And beautiful. We landed, and gun is up, and it was a GG, guys, right? So, again, 890 on Overlord. I think I've said this like eight times now in this video, but very, very, very important, guys, and very vital to getting wins on this map. Let's take a look at the end plates. It was a first-class game. We did 2,178 damage, 945 assist, and here we were top by experience. It looks like top by damage as well, so a phenomenal game in the Type 64. It's very hard to get a mastery, we got two kills by the way, in this vehicle because um, the expected values are very high. It's a premium and it's just the way it is. So here's the final report. We did um, bank almost 7k on the credit reserve and we actually made some coin this is a premium keep that in mind we fired 26 shots 22 hits 21 pens and we actually ran out of standard ap's i believe if you saw there at the end so you do have to be mindful of your ammo in this vehicle um here at the bottom left of the screen, you can see my score in this vehicle. We are averaging 1,035 damage, over 46 battles with a 74% win rate, guys. And again, I have yet to get the mastery on this vehicle. I, I run it with rations. I split the APs and APCRs. I do run a few um, HE shells just in case I encounter, I don't know, some kind of like arty or something like that i can actually penetrate reliably with the he's because there's not a lot of pen on these he's you know on the light tank but i run this thing with optics um low noise exhaust and v stab and optics in the scouting slot i think that's important to note and yeah we have good concealment on this thing i think the view range is like 480 so the view range is actually very good and this is what my crew is looking like i might eventually switch one of these out for the brothers in arms but we have recon concealment here snapshot concealment smooth ride concealment situational awareness concealment and then concealment intuition we're about halfway on the brothers in arms but you know that as you increase brothers in arms um like the not just brothers in arms but the the higher up that this percentage goes the more experience is required to get up that next percent right um so it might take a while to get that but yeah that's it guys this this tank is very powerful so if you do have the gold or whatever i would highly recommend that you get this vehicle um it's arguably the best tier six but I would say the 12T is also very good. Like, I'm pretty good in this vehicle as well. Um, I have 962 damage averaged over 211 battle, 11 battles with 56% win rate. The only thing I hate about the 12T is the stupid 
elevation and gun depression issues but other than that it's a great tank and we're currently also trying to mark these vehicles as well the t37 and the t21 i like to think i can three mark the t37 because i don't think that has very good expected values we're going to do our best with these two vehicles guys that's it i hope to um, catch you for the next one guys um, if you're not subscribed do sub to the channel um, we're getting a lot more subscribers and you can follow the twitch channel as well but i'm trying to put out a good amount of content you guys can expect to see multiple videos a week here usually it's going to be on light tanks but again sub if you aren't sub guys it really helps me out like the video comment um because it helps the youtube algorithm to recommend these videos to more people and i really just make these videos to help others out um you know i'm not paid for this so i, I would really appreciate it if you can help me out guys that's it i'll catch you for the next one bye bye now